What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I've been setting up the Alpine Type S speakers that arrived uh, yesterday. I'm pretty excited. I want to get some sound into this uh, yellow banana here because the, you know, the speakers right now are terrible. And let's get straight into it, man. I'm pretty excited. I'm going to attempt it. If we run into any issues, you know, I'll show you guys the whole process. Hopefully it's an easy one. So yeah, that's the speakers there. Type S, 80 watts RMS. Guys, I'm going to give you a massive uh, little advice when buying speakers if you don't already know. The, the peak power, please do not look at that because that is a peak, you know, it's a pile of shit. It doesn't actually mean anything. One sound system can have, you know, 400, that one can have 200, and the one that's 200 might still be better. The only number that you should be looking at is what is the watts per RMS. That's the one that it can actually consistently keep powering. That is the important number. Don't look at that, that is a marketing scheme. All right, let's open up these bad boys and see what they look like, what is in the box. All right, is that the top here? This looks like the speaker grills, which we won't be using because the S2000 already has the door which covers that. And underneath, it looks like we've got the speakers. Let's open this up. All right, these are the speakers themselves. We've got some mounting screws. Uh, some wiring if we need it and the speakers oh these feel pretty good a nice weight to them and uh yeah yeah let's get to it let's get to it all right so i'm gonna start the driver's door if we've got enough room here basically to get the door off we have a few screws that we need to take out and the rest are clips so from my knowledge there is a screw behind there and then there is also one here. You have to take this little cap off and one here. That's on the door handle. A few items that we might need to do the speaker install is a plastic trim uh, remover. Second, we're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver, just a normal length and possibly some electrical tape. We'll see how we're going to wire these up. All right, so the door card is off. Behind here, there's a speaker. That's what we're going to be going for, but you got to take this off. This is for the power windows and, uh, you know, the mirrors. You've got to disconnect that first. That's the original speaker, by the looks of it. Looks like an absolute piece of shit. Jesus Christ, that is so thin. Uh, anyway, I'm hoping that the new speaker mounts up and I don't have to buy anything else, but we'll see. Let me unbolt this bad boy. So this is the original speaker with the Japan logo. Uh, 4 ohms, which is the same one we're going to be running. This is 15 watts. Now that is probably not RMS. That is 15 watts uh, peak power. I was able to set RMS. That is so shit. No wonder they sound like crap when these other ones are 90 watts RMS. And if you want to compare max watts, that's 15. That one's 240. Alright guys, so I ran into a bit of an issue. The new speakers are not going to fit in here. So it doesn't matter which way you turn them. The screws don't even line up, but there's actually about half a centimeter to a centimeter gap. And that's because these speakers are too uh, deep and they hit the plastic here. So you're going to need to find a solution for that. So the standard speaker grills where the OEM speakers were will not fit the Alpines. I didn't think about this, so I thought it would just fit but it won't fit. It basically fits 6 inch speaker, but it's not so much the dynamo speaker, it's the actual width, the back end. Uh, it can only fit about a 2 inch speaker and then it's got like a plastic piece. So it hits the back, which is right there. It's going to hit that back section there. It cannot fit. And this cannot be modified because the screws don't even fit. In other words, that's a no-go. Uh, I've bought some new adapters. You can make these yourself out of MDF and just buy some wood, which is probably a smart idea, but I'm a bit lazy and I really can't be bothered. So I bought these from Autobahn. Uh, this looks like it's going to fit. I might have to trim the top and the bottom a little bit. I hope I don't have to, because like I said, I just can't be bothered. So this might do the job. Alright, so that's what I've marked up. I'm going to cut it around here and here. And then we need to draw some uh, holes to mount to the door and to mount to the speakers. Alright guys, so I've finished one. I've cut it up into shape. It has to be really skinny at the top or it'll hit the door 
and the bottom. So it has to be a fairly unique shape. And I pre drilled the holes so that the, these uh, screws are flush, so that when the speaker comes over, it doesn't touch them. And then four small holes for the speaker. Hopefully, this fits. I haven't actually tried the door on yet, but you know, one way to find out. All right, so this one here is a power one. The one that I'm shaking right now, the one with the yellow or whatever this other color is, that's ground. All right, lads, that's all white up. If this camera ever wants to focus, two cables there, positive and negative, on the back here as well, and that is it. This speaker should be working well. Now to mount it onto the hole, hopefully it fits. door trim is back on all the clips popped in nicely those speakers are finished they're in the doors and let's see what it sounds like still the stock head unit yeah, that, sounds, that sounds about a hundred times better already to be honest I'm not so sure if it's uh, any point of putting a head unit in there but since I got it I'll put it in there but that sounds way better what do you think, Nov? Better? Sure. A little bit? Yeah. So you guys, it's been a few days now with the speakers and just said it in the video, and I thought I'd chuck in another note before I finish this one up. Uh, so still got the stock head unit in there, and yeah, as I said in the video just then, it sounds way better. Like, I was not expecting it to sound that good. I thought it was a head unit that was actually crap, but it looks like just the speakers were terrible. Because with these new speakers, it's just made a huge difference. It's actually in my opinion, just about good enough. I don't know whether it's worth buying a head unit if you were just after a bit of sound, you know what I mean? If you didn't want something too much. Uh, now, I've already bought the head unit, so I'm gonna install it anyway. But if I did this first, and I recommend doing this first, get the speakers first, put them in there before you even buy a head unit or anything. Because if you keep the standard one, you can still buy a Bluetooth or an aux adapter which connects to the back of the standard head unit. Instead of the CD stacker, you connect a Bluetooth adapter, it's about 50 bucks. Or, or an aux adapter so you can plug in your phone. Uh, that's way cheaper. Your DCI controls on the right hand side or the left hand side, they still stay the exact same, so you don't have to spend money on that. So you can save yourself about 400 bucks if you go that way. Now, you know, if you want a new head unit, then, you know, get a new head unit. Uh, it's probably a little bit better, but, you know, if you want to get an app like I'm, I am, then you definitely want to get a new head unit. I think if I bought the speakers first, I wouldn't even bother buying a new head unit. I would have put that money towards something else, maybe a you know performance mod or something. But anyway, thanks guys, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. I've got some uh, more entertaining videos coming up in the next one or two. We're going to be going to uh, some meets in Melbourne, some big ones. Uh, that should be pretty excited. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.